Are you going to come peaceably? How did you know? We've been watching you. Bye, sweetie. Have a good day at school. Let's go. What are you doing home so late? Trying to finish editing this manuscript before the deadline. Is this the same manuscript you were working on last week? Yes. I thought you said the deadline was Thursday. Why do you care? Well, I'm sorry. I want to know where my husband is after work. Sky, I do not like to come home and feel like I'm being interrogated. What is this? Shoes. I know their shoes. When did you get them? Today. Okay, so I guess we're speaking in one word sentences now? I bought them at Kohl's for $24.99 and paid with the Visa card and they're size 9. Okay, well, we're gonna do this again. What else do you want to know? Well, you could have at least asked me first. I did. You asked to buy her clothes. Last time I checked, shoes are not clothes. Okay, then what are shoes? Not clothes. Really? Hey Alexa, are shoes clothes? <sighs> Okay, that was late. I'm not doing this. Okay, so you're the victim now? Wow, you're an angel, hon.
Thanks. Yeah. I need to talk to you about some lunch. Yeah. Okay. So what is it this time? Abandoned by Chris Bittler, 8200. Messengers by Chad Fisher, 5400. This is the finances. Okay, Coleman, spill it. What is it this time and how much will I be making? <laughs> right to the point, I like that. But don't get me off my sales pitch, okay? Look, you'll be making a lot more than you did last time, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, last time was barely enough to cut it. Oh, yeah, I agree, it was the same for me, but you know, part of me is still glad we did because now I know no one's on to us. So that brings me back to my original question. What is it? I need you to log that your client's manuscripts is costing a company more than they actually are and make your clients believe it. So embezzlement. Charge the company more than what it actually costs and pocket the extra cash? Pretty much. So where do I come in? Why can't you just do it? Because if I was to log it, I'd be busted sooner than I could say anti-disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> say that the longest word in the English language. Yeah. But that's besides the point. The point is, if we do this together, and we cover our tracks well, we can be doing it for a long time. I don't know, man. Fudging time cards was one thing, but full-blown embezzlement? I know. Trust me. But think about the money. That's a steady flow of income. I think about your family. Yeah, my next meeting with a client is tomorrow. It's a uh, romance novel about the life of a cheeseburger. I don't care what the story is about, just how much it costs. Wait, did you say a cheeseburger? Yeah, he was uh, sponsored by Burger Queen. Something. It'll cost around 10000 but I can market it. I can mark it up about an extra thousand or so. Yeah, that's a good start. I'm still trying to figure out how to explain the extra money to my family. Just tell them you got a raise. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See ya. Come on! There's something wrong. It died. Oh snap. I got jumper cables in here somewhere. Just give me a second. No, bro. I'll just get my wife to pick me up. There they are. Go ahead and pop the hood. Sorry to make you do this, man. Oh, nah, it's all good, man. The boys don't understand. You hang out with some homies tonight or something? <laughs> no, not really. Every Tuesday, me and Lisa have some of the guys from the community over. It's like a great way to hang out, connect. We like have some pizza and a devotional. That's cool. Yeah, 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 man. How's Lisa? She's good. Good. Do next weekend. Dude, that's awesome. Christmas, baby. Yeah, that's what we hope. We hope. A little bit nervous, to be honest. It's like mostly excitement, but a little bit of nervousness there. There's mixed emotions. I mean, you know how it is, man. You yeah, had yeah. Allie. But yeah, yeah. How is how is Ellie doing? And Sky too. Like it seems like it's been forever since I've seen him. Good. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. doing good. Good. Yeah. Awesome, man. Seems like it's been a while since we like hung out. Yeah. We should do it again sometime. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It'd be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think you should be good to go. You want to go ahead and start start her up. Uh, Let's see if that works. <laughs> Hey. Hey. What 
What are you doing home on time? I uh, finished up that manuscript, so it looks like I'll be home on time more often. Wow, that's great. So, uh, where's Allie? Allie! Daddy! Hey, sweetie. How's it going? Look, I was under a lot of stress yesterday. I know I messed up. So, are you apologizing? Yeah. Okay. I also have some good news. What is it? I got a raise today. Really? How much? A lot, which made me think, what if we'd go on vacation? I don't know where yet, but I was thinking maybe sometime after the New Year's. <gasps> Look, I know I've been a jerk. I want to do better. All right. Reviewing the manuscript Max sent you? Mm-hmm. I'm almost done now. Shouldn't you be getting home? Yeah, I will when I'm done here. Won't be long. Derek, it's Christmas Eve. Get home to your family. All right. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. You didn't get a raise. What are you talking about? You didn't get a raise. Y yes, I did. Not at Penn's Pens, you didn't. Where is that extra money coming from? From Penn's Pens. I got a raise. Where is that extra money coming from? My pay stub. You opened my pay stub! Yes. Yes, I did. Of course you did! What's wrong with that? You have absolutely no self-control. Maybe not. But at least I'm not lying to my family like someone else I know. Wow. Nice tactic. If you can avoid questions, I can remind you of them. This time, I'm gonna walk out. Really, hun? You're a great role model, dear. Hey, 
Hey, come on. I need a quick favor. It's Christmas Eve. I know, but that's exactly why I need it now. What is it? I need you to double check on the last payment your client made. I think I may have gotten the numbers wrong, and I want to fix it before we start working after Christmas. Alright, I'm heading back to the office. Wait, why are you headed to the office this late? Me and Sky got into a fight, and heading to the office to cool down. She, uh, she opened my uh, pay stub and found out that I lied about getting a raise. Now she's trying to figure out where the extra money is. Wait, she knows you're making extra money some other way? Yeah. What are you thinking, man? What? Do you have any idea what is at stake here if she finds out? I told you she opened my pay stub. It's your problem. This is on you. Well, this affects you too. This isn't on me, man. Coleman. Hey man, I thought you left already. Y you okay? There's nothing you can do to make this right. What happened? I made a mess in my life. Christmas? What? So I was just thinking, I mean, honestly, that's, that's kind of what Christmas is about. What is? Let me try that again. What is Christmas actually about? I'm assuming you want me to say baby Jesus, right? Kinda, kinda, but what was the reason for him coming here in the first place? To die on the cross or something. Yeah. Yeah, see, when Jesus died on the cross, he died for you, man. And, and I know, you were raised in the church, you probably heard this a million times, but when Jesus came to the earth, he came to save us. You them. Christians use that line way too much. What line? He can save us. Like, what do you actually mean by that? Like, it's not like God can save me from all, from all, all my problems. Look, I understand why you may think that. Your life is all there. It's all together. You have a wife, you have a kid on the way. I understand why you may think that. Look, it's great. You're genuinely a great guy. Sure, right, man. What? I was, uh, I was addicted. 
pornography. It's, uh, it's not the greatest thing to be addicted to when you're newly married. But, by the grace of God and the help of others, I got free from that trap. But see, it was a battle to get there, and it still is. And there was consequences for that. And see, that's the difference. When Jesus came to this world, he came to save us from our sins so that we can have a relationship with him. Now, I'm talking about a real relationship with a real loving God, okay? A lot of people think this is a heaven or hell issue, and it is. But heaven's going to be bland if we don't have a relationship with God here. That's the difference, man. The difference between God saving us from our sins and saving us from all of our problems. There's going to be consequences for choices. That's just part of life. But see, the difference is that we can have hope through it, knowing that whatever we go through, God's going through it with us. He came so we could have a relationship with him, so we could have hope. That's what it's about. That's the reason. I gotta go, Lisa's going to the labor. Merry Christmas, Derek. getting a little old. Look, there's something I have to tell you while I still have the chance. I, um... Um... I've been stealing from work. We needed money to pay the bills. I even tried gambling, but when this came up, it seems... Seemed a lot safer. I'm not gonna try to make excuses. I don't know, but I may be getting arrested. But let me say this while I still have the chance. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I made a mess of my life, our life. <laughs> I want to get my life right with you. I want to get it right with God. Because I can't go through this mess alone. I need hope. I need hope. Colin, this is the police. We have a warrant for your arrest. Come out now. Put your hands behind your head. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights?
Looking back, I can't say that night was easy. I wish I could say it was the night everything turned out all right, but that would be a lie. My daughter won't have a dad around because of the choices I have made. But at the same time, that night was the first time I've ever felt hope. Hope. That's the reason. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. Why am I? I feel time and time again But I know the cycle is destined to be broken And without a doubt I'm broken too Oh, God.